Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is June 9th, and today, of course, we're going to take a look at this atmospheric river. You can see the current Doppler radar running here, the Langley Coastal Radar here in the Washington coast, picking up this precipitation nicely. This is actually going to be increasing during the day, too, bringing Seattle a nice shot of rain today as the atmospheric river slams into the Olympic Mountains, Vancouver Island, and eventually sags south through Portland. Then another wave of that atmospheric river is going to rise north again and bring us some even additional precipitation across the region so looking at the langley radar here if we change to the portland one you'll notice lighter precipitation amounts appear to be going on over the ocean just because of the view of this radar there is some higher terrain to the west it kind of limits this portland doppler just a bit here if we go to the Camino Island radar here, you can kind of see the downsloping effects from the Olympic Mountains here, highlighting some of that rain shadow through the region here. But once you get away from those downsloping effects, you can see that precipitation amounts start to pick back up off to the north and east. Now, let's take a look at the mid-level water vapor here. And you can see that atmospheric river. There's no missing it. Had a tap all the way back across Pacific Ocean, as we talked about for the last few days. Gulf of Alaska trough continues to pump that subtropical moisture plume into the area here. And again, precipitation is going to pick up during the day today. Now, taking a look around the rest of the country, briefly some flood warnings through some of Oklahoma. They continue to get MCSs moving through the area here, and tonight's probably going to be no exception as well. Some pretty good rainfall falling across the region out there. But check out California. They're basking in some heat there, especially through the valley and portions of Nevada there too, some heat advisories. And you can see the hydraulic concerns and some flood watches there through portions of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. And this is looking at Spokane National Weather Service talking about rising rivers over the weekend. If you're in the back country, you know, you're dealing with the rivers, watch out Okanagan, Intiat, Methow, Stahican River, all dealing with some rising waters. And there is some mud and rock slide potential here too. water over roadways. You guys know the drill. This is for Pendleton, Oregon, talking about moderate flood stage there for the Natchez River near Natchez that's out towards the Yakima area. So heads up again, anywhere in the backcountry here in the Pacific Northwest, this atmospheric river is causing the snow melt and these rising waterways. So looking at Seattle, Tacoma, we did hit 70 yesterday, which is average for June. Not a bad day yesterday. Today is much different, though, as you probably already can see outside. The rain is falling, and that should be increasing during the day today. And as you see, the day before yesterday, we had 72 degrees. So some a couple not too bad at days there before this atmospheric river came into the region. And again, by the end of June, 74 degrees is the average high. And again, you can see this three-day stretch we had last year the heat dome that i don't think anybody that was here is going to forget anytime soon 102 104 and 108 degrees in that three-day period just seattle's greatest heat wave and much of the pacific north's greatest heat wave looking at ritzville washington last five days have been below average in temperature they averaged 74 degrees this time of year they had i believe 72 yesterday and they averaged 81 degrees by the end of june moving into july so you can see how we've kind of been below average it's going to remain so as these high clouds from the atmospheric river and a little bit of precip get in there for the next couple of days across eastern washington now taking a look here at the european here one more look at the plume of moisture rolling in with the atmospheric river. You can see a little bit of a break Friday morning, then another, you know, that kind of rises back over us again. And we continue that precipitation on through the morning Saturday before that cooler air in the trough finally move into the region and push that atmospheric river off to the south. Now, taking a look here, the HERA 3KM this morning's 12Z run. It's about seven, 5 o'clock, sorry, Seattle time. And as we put this into motion here, you can see that precipitation pick up during the afternoon hours for Seattle and the Cascades and the Olympics really get a good dosing out of this. And then you can see it sag south through Portland as we go through Friday morning. And then you can see that second wave of moisture move up towards western Washington as we go through Saturday morning. So some pretty good precipitation amounts coming for Seattle. Look at the Cascades of BC, Vancouver Island, Olympic Mountains, Coastal Range of Oregon, and mainly the northern half of the Oregon Cascades just get really plastered here. You can see that rain shadow is going to be in effect for much of eastern Washington there. Once you get off the east slopes of the Cascades, that drying and downsloping is really going to keep the precipitation fairly limited. You can see that rain shadow effect there across the northern Puget Sound, San Juan's, Whidbey Island, and portions mainly Olympia, Tacoma South. There's also a little bit of rain shadow going on here from the higher terrain in southwest Washington and the Oregon coastal range there. And I'll show you why that is here in a second. But this is also looking at the HER 3KM 
as well, just a little bit closer. And as we go through the day today, notice those precip mounts pick up pretty well. And you can see how it kind of gets Seattle and you see the gradient, the rainfall gradient drop you've, as you go north. That's kind of the, the downsloping effects off the Olympic Mountains here. And there's also some rain shadowing going on here too off the higher terrain in the coastal range of Oregon as you get on into areas south of Tacoma. So watch out for that. Let's see how true this plays out. And you can see that kind of fills in with that second wave that starts moving in Saturday morning, but really doesn't give much precipitation overall, would be Island and south of the San Juan Squim area, Port Townsend. Now, if we take a look at the topography map for Washington, you can see this higher terrain down there kind of highlighting that rain shadow effect here. And then you can see, of course, the Olympic Mountains causing their good rain shadow here for Whidbey Island. And of course, Eastern Washington has to deal with the Cascades. These atmospheric rivers just do not make good headway over the Cascades, especially the downsloping here. That's why the precipitation is so limited. So taking a look here is our European, and you can see the precipitation increase this afternoon tonight across the region, then sags south through Oregon. Then the second wave moves into western Washington late Friday night through Saturday morning and really brings some good precipitation down through Oregon, northeast Oregon, Idaho, Panhandle into western Montana, as you can kind of see that atmospheric river dive down to the south and continue to get Oregon through the day Sunday, a little bit for northern California. But you notice that atmospheric river really loses its steam as it moves down south through California, not bringing much of any precipitation down there. And you can see there's a convergent zone signature here for central Puget Sound as we go through the day Sunday. We'll just have to see. I don't know if there's enough instability for a lightning strike associated with that, but there will be some colder air moving in aloft and there will be a thunderstorm chance for some of the higher terrain around the region, really. So we'll keep an eye on that. I'll look more into that a bit tomorrow. Now, looking at the European, I just want to kind of show you the wind field here as we go on in through the day. Saturday, you'll notice the westerlies start to come down the straight here pretty strong on the day Saturday night. And on it through Sunday, they continue on here. So there will be some Puget Sound Convergent Zone activity going on through the day Sunday. So this kind of will make up a little bit for some of that rain shadowing effect through the area uh, north Puget Sound there on the downslope of the Olympic Mountains. Now, looking at the 700 millibar temperatures, 10,000 feet, NAM, 12 km, and you can see pretty warm temperatures, 10,000 feet, but watch what happens here as we go on in through the day. Saturday, you can see this trough move through the area and introduce that colder air into the region here. That's what's going to bring our thunderstorm chance on through to early next week, which we'll look at a bit closer as that event gets closer to us. And looking here, this is the NAM, uh, sorry, the European, the 12 kilometer not 12 kilometers, this is nine kilometer actually. I'm stuck on the NAM. So check out the Gulf of Alaska troughing here and that's what's bringing our subtropical moisture into the region now. And then finally the trough settles over the region Sunday and kicks that atmospheric river out of our lives. Then we start getting some onshore flow and potential Puget Sound convergence zone activity, colder air aloft, showery precipitation, and a renewed chance of thunderstorms. As you can see, this trough just kind of open up over the western portion of the US here as we go on through next week and then yet another trough but it looks like the european is a little bit better with the ridging here maybe we'll get a couple nice days midweek next week we'll have to see how this goes before this next trough really settles off the west coast on the extended here of the european run let's see what the gfs says about that and what kind of agreement we get so gulf of alaska troughing finally kicks through here ends our atmospheric river as we go on through sunday into monday trough moves across Montana kind of hangs out across Washington. Not much of a ridge builds before this next trough starts diving onto the west coast here. So no rest for the weary here in the Pacific Northwest. The GFS really bringing a sharp trough across the area through next later next week into next week. And so we'll have to watch to see what model wins out there. But it does look like a continued active weather pattern as we go on and through next week into next weekend potentially. We'll monitor that day by day. Here's the European Ensemble runs. You can see the control and the mean are in pretty good agreement here. By Saturday morning, looks like just under an inch and a half for Seattle. So that'll put us well above average for the entire month of June. This is the temperature, as you can see. As you know, we're averaging 70 or 71 degrees during this time frame here. And you can see we're going to be below average probably all the way into next week. The GFS paints a little bit warmer of a picture here. But look at some of these temperatures here. Sunday and Monday as this trough settles over the region here. Pretty chilly. Look at the GFS here. 
And you can see it does call for a bit warmer as we go on in through next week, more towards normal, but still some chillier days in there. But as we saw, there will be some ridging around potentially. So we might get a couple nice days midweek next week. So it kind of highlights there. So we'll have to watch to see how that develops as we get closer. So yeah, just if your heads up, if you're in the backcountry today for those rising rivers, possible rock and mudslides, isolated in nature though. And yeah, so we'll continue to watch this and we'll do another briefing tomorrow. We'll take a little bit closer look on what kind of impacts that trough is going to bring in the wake of this atmospheric river. Then again, looks like maybe a little bit of ridging next week and then another trough settling over the area. So active weather looks like it's going to continue for the Pacific Northwest. So we'll do this again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then. If you haven't clicked like, please do so and subscribe. It helps get the word out and gets this notification out to more people across Pacific Northwest here. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow.